Meghan Markle and Prince Harry like to do things differently and have applied their unique approach while on tour in Africa. While their unorthodox ways may upset traditionalists the Queen will be delighted with how they have fared so far, a royal commentator has claimed. Meghan Markle and Prince Harry have brought their own brand of royal to their latest official trip to Africa. While their son Archie Harrison stole the show when he joined his parents to meet Archbishop, Desmond Tutu, the Duke and Duchess have been praised for their warm-hearted approach to royal engagements. They have hugged many of the people they have met and while this tactile approach may upset traditionalists it will have delighted the Queen, a royal expert has claimed. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex are now halfway through their 10-day tour of Africa and have proved a hit with everyone they have met. While Meghan and Harry have been criticized for doing things differently in the past their uniquely informal tour has had an electrifying response, a royal expert has claimed. Royal commentator Richard Fitzwilliams told Express.co.uk, the way Meghan and Harry have handled their tour in South Africa so far has been uniquely informal, from hugging and dancing to Meghan not wearing her engagement ring. He added, this is unusual for a royal tour but the Sussexes have already shown they do things their way. According to Mr Fitzwilliams, the Sussexes' brilliantly unorthodox approach has worked in their favor. He said, their main appeal is clearly to the young and it is brilliantly unorthodox. Meghan's speech to her audience in the deprived township of Nyanga in Cape Town where there is a high level of violence, as a woman of color and your sister had an electrifying response. Prince Harry parted ways with Meghan and Archie on Wednesday to jet off to Botswana, Angola and Malawi where he will spend several days before rejoining them in South Africa. Archie's iconic meeting with anti-apartheid stalwart Desmond Tutu increased Meghan and Harry's global appeal, according to Mr Fitzwilliams. He said, whether commemorating South Africa's Heritage Day as a rainbow nation or promoting mental health issues or taking Archie for an iconic meeting with Archbishop Desmond Tutu which has led to images which have gone global, the enthusiastic response proves yet again the potency of the appeal of royals on tour and how they can spread the word about the causes they champion. The benefit to the charities involved and to the host country are enormous. The way this connects with their target audience is amazing, more than 60% of the people of the 53 Commonwealth countries are under 30. Meghan and Harry's personal approach to championing causes like mental health has also proved a hit. Mr Fitzwilliam said, Meghan's campaign for female empowerment, their joint efforts to lift the stigma over mental health where Harry has been so open over his personal experiences is truly remarkable. On Friday Prince Harry visited Angola and retraced his mother Princess Diana's steps when he visited a charity that works to get rid of landmines. In a moving tribute Diana, Harry recreated the iconic photo of his mother walking in a minefield in 1997, when he donned protective gear and did the same thing. Mr Fitzwilliams claimed Meghan and Prince Harry's sting of tour successes will have delighted the Queen. He said, I am sure that the Queen, who cares so deeply about her beloved Commonwealth, will be delighted at their successes. 